Hello friends, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I just picked up this 1973 uh, Gravely Tractor. Uh, it's a C8. It's the 8 speed with the 4 speeds forward and 4 speeds reverse. And today we're going to uh, just check it over. It was listed on the marketplace for $150. Uh, and I had nothing to say. I, I just told them I'll, I'll come and pick it up. It came with the snow plow blade also. And everything seems to be there. I don't see anything missing so far. And let me just get up on a trailer here. Um, he said he had the starter rebuilt. And he was having having trouble with a uh, fuel leak he said something with the gaskets I don't I don't know what but we'll have to address all that and what I want to do in this uh, part one of the series here is I want to um, make sure that it cranks over and everything the hood's not really bolted in um, magnetos there spark plug wires there everything's there um, what else Oh, after I, after we were done loading it, I was ready to drive off, and then he waved me down, and he said he had this sulky here that his father found. I know it's not a gravely sulky. I don't know what, what this is off of. Like, this in the front here pivots, you know. I got to unload this off the trailer soon. Um, just the dual wheels and tires, I mean. The tires are, like, brand new on it. I don't see any uh, evidence of, well, a little bit of dry rot. They all get dry rotted, but nothing really to really be too concerned about. Um, it has a governor on it. Oh, the throttle works. I didn't even check to see if anything worked. I guess the choke works. We'll have to spray everything out. Yeah, it's working. I'm just going to douse it with uh, WD. To begin with here and I have to get a battery to hook up to it oh he's got one battery cable the positive is there and the negatives here but it's got this it's not the right cable but I do have cables this hood's ready to fall off um, all right so I'm gonna get get this in, into uh, condition to where we could just crank it over and see how it cranks over I will pull the spark plug out and pour a little oil in the spark plug hole or maybe just WD or something like that make sure we can get it to crank but in the meantime I'm going to unload it off the trailer and just start spraying everything up with WD